major pollster reveals that the Democratic Party is not a bastion of unyielding liberalism. The Pew Research Center offers demographic details that could be of interest to such grassroots organizations as Black Voices for Trump, Black Republicans Activists, Latinos for Trump, GOP Latinos, plus the Walkaway Campaign, a national group which supports disenchanted Democrats who want to walk away from their party. Here are the telling numbers, moderates and conservatives make up 51% of all Democratic voters while 47% of those Dem voters are liberal. This could spell a GOP opportunity in 2020, a year when every vote will count. White Democrats remain more likely than Black or Hispanic Democrats to describe themselves as liberal. In 2019, the majority, 55%, of white Democratic and Democratic-leaning registered voters identified themselves as liberal, an increase of 27 percentage points since 2000. Among white Democrats, 19% called themselves very liberal in 2019, compared with 6% in 2000, says the pollster, which released the findings Friday. By contrast, more black Democratic voters continue to characterize their views as moderate rather than liberal. In 2019, 43% of black Democrats called themselves moderate, 29% called themselves liberal and 25% called themselves conservative. Among Hispanic Democratic voters, 38% described their political views as moderate in 2019, while 37% called themselves liberal and 22% conservative. One analyst offers President Trump a thought or two. Black America won't come over to the GOP unless the conservative party directly addresses issues affecting black communities, writes Willis Crumholes, a contributor to The Federalist who suggests the president offer a contract with Black America, which addresses economic equality and authentic family issues. Trump is uniquely gifted to bring Black America back into the GOP. Come spring 2020, Trump should go to Detroit and launch the contract. This could help break the chains of identity politics in America and fulfill the ultimate hope of America's founding documents, the analyst advises. An observation on MLK Day, as we celebrate the life and accomplishments of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. On Monday, I am convinced he would look favorably on the gains made by black Americans during the Trump administration, says Donna Jackson, a member of Project 21, established by the National Center for Public Policy Research in 1992 to promote conservative and libertarian black people who support entrepreneurship, family values and individual responsibility. Today, we have record low unemployment, prison reform, greater faith-based outreach and permanent funding for historically black colleges and universities. Dr. King was a strong advocate for the economic and social advancement of black people. These goals are now being realized, observes Ms. Jackson. As we reflect on the work of Dr. King, we cannot ignore the I Have a Dream portion of his famous March on Washington speech. Sadly, the Colin Kaepernick's and Black Lives Matter organizations of this world have ignored it as they invoke drive. King's words to promote racial division, as if we have yet to move on from the segregation of the day, adds Project 21 member Melanie Collette. Dr. King's message was that of unity, not to separate ourselves from each other, the royal brand Adweek has studied the emerging commercial brand of Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, and pronounced it ready to launch. The couple, soon to be known as Harry, Duke of Sussex, and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, smartly applied to trademark their Sussex royal brand in July of last year with a registration likely coming in the next few weeks. Adweek says, adding that the couple could be the world's most valuable brand, though the pair are likely to favor lending royal influence to help philanthropic causes, Jamie Reardon, CEO and co-founder of the marketing platform Find Your Influence, predicts Harry and Meghan could add their trademark to brands in the lifestyle, beauty, fashion, family and travel. Ms. Reardon speculates that if they choose, the couple could charge $100,000 for a single sponsored post on their Instagram feed, which has 10 million followers. I really see them keeping almost a political persona, with a role similar to former first families or former political leaders. 
their role is just going to be so incredibly unique, and I don't think quite like anything we've seen before, predicts Christine Ross, editor of Meghan's Mirror, which reports on the style of the Duchess. It's hammer time he could be considered a true Fox News veteran. That would be Bill Hemmer, who joined the network in 2005 and has been on the air ever since. Come Monday, he has a brand new on-air identity. Mr. Hemmer departs his morning perch at America's Newsroom, in favor of Bill Hemmer Reports, a new show meant to bring down the Hemmer hammer on the hard news that often erupts at 3 p.m. The start time of the new show. As a journalist, I am extremely grateful for this opportunity. 2020 will undoubtedly be a year of great significance. Leading our breaking news division with a signature hour has enormous value to me, personally, and to our audience, says Mr. Hemmer. Bill is an incredible newsman and his ability to cut to the heart of the story while humanizing major events has made him a standout talent in news, observes Jay Wallace, president and executive editor of Fox News Media. Mr. Hemmer and his team, the chief says, are prepared to interrupt regular programming with breaking news at a moment's notice, poll du jour 56% of Americans believe in the romantic idea that is possible to have a soulmate. 43% say they have met and are currently in a relationship with their soulmate. 19% say they have not met their soulmate and don't ever expect to meet them. 18% are unsure if they have met their soulmate. 12% say they have not met their soulmate but expect to meet them in the future. 8% say they met their soulmate but are not in a relationship with them. Source, a YouGov poll of 4,529 U.S. adults conducted Jan. 15 and released Friday. Kindly follow Jennifer Harper on Twitter at HarperBullet and sign up for daily newsletters. Let's block ads.